Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I really wanted to do something a little bit different today. It is still an eye makeup tutorial, but I wanted to do something that was kind of quick and easy and you could be out the door in minutes doing this eye look. And I really wanted to do something with shadow sticks. I don't know what it is about eyeshadow sticks, but I love them and every time I see one or swatch one or get to play with one or receive one, I get so excited. I don't know what it is about it. And I don't happen to use them that often, but today I decided to give it a try and create an eye look using only shadow sticks. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. I hope that you enjoy, and if you want to stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the Tarte Cosmetics Tarte Lip Palette, and I'm going into Wanderer. I'm going in with my Sigma E25 blending brush, and I'm running this through my crease. I want to apply something through my crease just to add a little bit of definition and dimension in this crease area. I'm going into the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Sugar Frost, and now I'm going to apply this all on my lid. Look at how pretty that shade is. And then I'm just going to take my finger just to kind of buff that shadow in. And then I'm going to apply this on my inner corner, and then just looking up and applying this on this bottom half of my lower lash line. And then taking my F70 concealer brush and blending out the edges so nothing looks harsh. I'm now picking up the Galactic Metallic Shadow Stick in Poise. Okay, now with this shade, what I'm going to do is apply this on my lash line. All the way into my inner corner. And now with my E20 Short Shader Brush by Sigma, I'm going to start quickly blending out this shadow on my lid. You have to work quick with these shadows before they set, so blend right away. And now I'm going to apply this on the outer half of my lower lash line, and then just create a small little weird looking wing. And then again, going in quickly to blend this. And I'm going to blend this funny little looking wing into a nice sharpened kind of smoked out wing. I just flick that out and it creates that perfect wing. So when you do all that blending, the actual shade of the pen kind of disappears. So what I like to do is just tap a little bit over top again to bring back that shadow. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm going into the Romanova Makeup Sexy Smoky Eye Pencil in Carbon Black. I'm first going to line my upper waterline. And then with my E15 Flat Definer Brush, I'm just going to blend that waterline into the lower lash line shadow. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and today I'm going into these Romanova Makeup Baby Girl Lashes in Dina, and that's the eye look done. Okay, for my lips, I want to do a nude, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite nude lip combinations. I've done this here before, but I'm going to do it again. <laughs> so first, I'm going to line my lips and slightly like fill them in and do a little lip contour with this Pop Beauty Pout on Point lip liner in nudie i love this shade oh my god i just realized i'm almost running out this is all i have left And then over top, I'm going to go in with this Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Beach Babe. Let me show you what it looks like. And that's the shade. Such a pretty nude. And that is it. This is a completed look of my Olive Green Smoky Wing Liner. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love how the look turned out. Honestly, I think I'm going to start incorporating more shadow sticks into my looks because it was so quick and easy to do and it looks like I put in a lot of effort because usually when you do a smoked out wing, you know, you gotta 
smoke it out, add a little bit more shadow, smoke it out. It takes, it's like a whole process. It takes a while. So I'm glad that it took so quick and still looks glam and like I put in a lot of effort, but I really didn't, you guys know that. <laughs> so if you want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down description box and also a list of all the products that I used today along with my brush set with Sigma and the other brushes that I used in this tutorial will be linked down below for you guys to find everything easier and I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.